Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday night. The crime alert in Miami Gardens, where cops took a man in following a visit by federal agents and the SWAT team who were trying to serve a warrant. Miami Dade firefighters using a saw to cut open a safe, assisting the feds in a multi agency operation at this home on Northwest 7th Avenue and 179th Terrace. Eventually, that safe would be pried open, and it appears some sort of cards were removed. Who was arrested and why has not been released. And only on 10 tonight, an Aventura man caught on camera throwing his dog at a police officer is now behind bars. Mordecai Oknen, an Israeli national, now faces two felony charges after an argument over a dog turned violent. According to the arrest report, police tried to mediate a dispute between another dog owner and Oknen. However, the 68-year-old allegedly became agitated and threw the dog at the police officer, striking him in the chest. The dog fell to the ground and injured its paw. Oakland was taken into custody and now faces a $2,000 bond. Embattled Miami City Commissioner Joe Carroyo celebrating a legal victory, a federal magistrate judge ruling that he should be allowed to keep his Coconut Grove home. That judge siding with Carroyo saying he has homestead rights to the property and therefore it shouldn't be auctioned off. This after U.S. Marshals plan to sell Carroyo's home to satisfy the $63.5 million judgment against him. The two businessmen who sued Carroyo for violating their First Amendment rights say they're awaiting the final order from the district court judge. Carroyo continues continues to appeal the verdict in the case. 23 year old Christopher Del Carpio is now behind bars on an attempted second degree murder charge. Police say he was the only suspect in connection with this case. The shooting happened Sunday night after an argument. The four year old was in his home when he was struck. The bullets also hitting the outside of the home, a car and a window. The child has been released from the hospital and is now recovering at home. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always head to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there. See you back tomorrow.